from your perspective, what can the UN do or UN bodies do to, to mitigate the problem of youth unemployment? Well, thank you. That's a very challenging question. And also very challenging to speak after such a good oracle. Uh, um, no, it's, first of all, it's great to be here with you today and, and seeing so many young, uh, uh, interesting faces. Uh, and before I start answering, I would like my colleagues from uh, the UN system, they join me today to stand up because they're, they're part with me today. So please just stand up. And by doing this, I would like to see, to show you that basically the entire UN system has been, thank you. <laughs> it's, not, it's not only Matteo Landi uh, and Ahmed today, it's the entire UN system that decided to be here with you today. And, and the reason, uh, is that the UN is really uh, uh, among you and the, 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 the UN system is trying to work with you and for you. Um, Ackman mentioned that the, um, the interagency network on new development is current, currently meeting in Vienna because you need to be just elected a, a, a new co-chair for the year 2014 and 15. So what is the inter this interagency network on new development? Um, the, uh, the Secretary General called for harmonization in the UN system, particularly in the, 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 the youth, uh, more in the youth dimension. And one, one way that he has recognized to be very effective is really this uh, network of youth development. It comprises over 40 entities of the UN, so pretty much every single entity, I don't even know all of them, in fact, by name. I can't remember that's uh, how many they are. Uh, but they all have um, a very specific uh, interest, mandate, and, and, and operation in the field of youth. You need to, for example, as you say, specialize in employment and entrepreneurship development to, forward, uh, to, to battle the, uh, the unemployment uh, issue. But there's many other uh, colleagues that are working in the, in the field of youth development to try to make a difference. Now, why, why, the, system is so, uh, why the, the network is so important It's because the UN system has been always too often uh, uh, blamed for lack of uh, harmonization, lack of cooperation, overlapping. Well, this is the response. The response that all the UN system is working together, shoulder by shoulder, uh, head next to head, uh, to see, um, really to harmonize and make a, a consistent difference. Um, and the third point is how we can work not only for young people, but really with young people. Um, and the reason why I brought them with, uh, with me today is to, to show you that they are with us, they are, they are with you. Um, how do we do that? Well, each agency obviously has its different mandate. Um, unemployment is it's, uh, uh, a challenge that you need to start to tackle with many others, with ILO and others. Um, but we, we're looking at all the different spheres in the, uh, in the development of, of young people. Um, the Director General has also requested one specific thing to outcome from the network, which is to develop, and you mentioned that, the system-wide action plan. Um, we call it SWAP, but you don't have to, to use the acronym, it's that the UN does. Um, but this is a very important exercise. It started and has been called by the General Assembly and the Secretary General to uh, develop um, and harmonize the work of the UN. So we have put together um, five priorities areas, and youth unemployment and entrepreneurship is one of them, civic participation, health, uh, um, education. And all the specialized agencies are get together in subgroups to try to um, make sure that the priorities that uh, were um, uh, indicated in the World Action Plan for Youth which is what the, the entire, uh, all the member states of the General Assembly agreed upon to be really the action plan for, for youth uh, in the member states. Uh, that the priorities are then carried out by the UN in their operation, in their initiatives. So we have this area where we focus and where we work together, and where, we work, where we harmonize uh, our intervention and where we, we work for young people and with young people. So really try to have uh, agreement, but also uh, um, inclusive uh, uh, development approach. Um, the issue of youth unemployment, I think um, that's that's a very complex issue. It has very different dimensions. Um, 
the way Unido has, is looking at it is really from the beneficiaries, uh, from, from the young person point of view. We call it the value chain of, of the, the, the life of a young person. So try to assist it in, um, in his early development and try to understand um, entrepreneurship not only as making business, but entrepreneurship as a, as a skill to, uh, 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 to, to face a very difficult challenge that young people nowadays. <coughs> The, the, the second really uh, uh, the, the second part of this intervention or, or rather approach if you if, if you allow me this um, is to build the skills and to make sure that they're ready for uh, to be uh, uh, ready in, in, in looking for a job that's that's a very complex uh, situation but also um, their, their skills are up to the demands of the uh, of the private sector so we work with the private sector to understand a little bit better what are the skills required by uh, the private sector and trying to equip young people with that. The second part besides skills is funding. You, you were mentioning investing in young people is absolutely essential. Now, many governments have started to look into that, but we believe much more should be done. Uh, investing in young people means investing in their education, investing in their skills, investing in their businesses. Innovation comes from uh, uh, from young people. It's demonstrated that 90% of the most innovative solution to uh, nowadays problem come from very young brains. Um, so finance and, and, and investment for young people is, uh, is extremely important. Um, what is also important is, uh, is the rights of young people, the rights to have a decent job, the rights to have uh, um, an adequate education, and the rights to have uh, access to information and information technology. Um, and this is, as I say, it's not only the work of your leader, but it's really the UN system that got, got together and tried to find the most uh, valuable and inclusive possible solutions for, uh, for this problem. Thank you, Matteo.